Uh, let's say in the best of circumstances, you have good credit, but you've only been in business for 18 months or anything under two years. It's virtually impossible, even with good credit, to get bank funding for your business. And so you've got to start getting creative on how are you going to fund getting vehicles. And so funding your fleet is one of the most challenging parts of your business as you grow. Yeah, finding people and funding your fleet and of course insuring your fleet becomes a, the next piece of that. But funding your fleet becomes a big challenge because whether you're growing by 100 jobs a, a year or whether you're growing by 500 jobs a year, you need a new truck for every 100 jobs or so and that gets expensive. What's going on everybody? EJ McCoy here, Pet Waste Millionaire. Today I want to talk about funding your fleet. So one of the biggest challenges you'll get into as a business owner in the pet waste business as you begin to scale is buying trucks and or cars to run your, your business fast enough. Uh, you need roughly one vehicle for every 100 to 150 customers, give or take. And that can actually start to really snowball as you grow. So your first couple, it takes you years to get, in a lot of cases, it takes you years to get to where you need three or four vehicles. But then it starts to multiply to where you can get 100 customers in a month, or you can get 400 or 500 customers in a three or six month period. As your business grows, if that's what you're, you're working towards, that it becomes a problem finding funding, finding the resources to to buy your vehicles to keep growing your business. And you know, again, if you add, let's say you have 500 customers and you hit a groove where in a five or six month period, you go and you add 300 more customers to your existing 500 clients. Well, doing that is gonna require you to go and buy at least three more vehicles. And that can be challenging. Uh, let's say in the best of circumstances, you have good credit but you've only been in business for 18 months or anything under two years, it's virtually impossible, even with good credit, to get bank funding for your business. And so you've got to start getting creative on how are you going to fund getting vehicles. Uh, you want to be careful on the bank you select. There's a lot of spam out there from banks. Uh, they're usually banks that are ended in funding. So it might be XYZ bank name, funding. Steer clear of those. They do not usually have the best of terms. When you're looking for terms to finance buying vehicles, and by the way, historically, we financed all of our vehicles because we wanted to put all of our cash back into growing our business, i.e. marketing, hiring talent, hiring management, building and growing and understanding more and more of the business of pet waste removal. That's what we spent our cash on. And so every chance we got, we financed trucks. Sometimes we'd financed three, four, six, eight trucks at a time when we were in the heat of our growth. Of, of our growth. And that is really hard to get bank financing for, especially when banks don't even understand what we do. Like for the longest time, our, our bankers didn't even understand that we were literally making a living and producing 100,000, 120, $150,000 a year in revenue for every truck we purchased from them. And so it took a little bit of time, but you've got to be careful with the terms when you, and, and with the bank you're selecting. You want to usually go to a traditional bank. It can be a local bank, but you want to use traditional banks. You don't want to go to some of these online banks that again, XYZ funding, their interest rates and their terms are not going to be simple interest rate. You're going to pay all of the interest before you even begin to start paying on the actual price of the vehicle or the principal of the vehicle. You're going to pay all of that interest up front. Steer clear of that. You do not need to do that. If you're going to do that, you're in a lot of cases, you're frankly better off growing slow and paying cash for vehicles. Now, I don't think that's the best thing, but it is usually far better than paying 20 plus percent interest. That's, that's not a good thing. So pick your bank wisely and build a relationship with that banker because if you're even growing by 100 customers a year, you're gonna need a new truck every single year. So every single year, you might be going back to that banker and saying, hey, can I get a loan? Can I get a loan? And of course, you're gonna need your financials, your bookkeeping to be on, on par, and you're gonna need to be able to hand that to them to show that you're not only are you growing, but you're managing that growth. You're not losing money, you're not going broke. Is your credit score working for years upon years? 
We didn't buy a lot of personal things on our personal credit or on my personal credit because I had to make sure that my credit score stayed good so that I could keep buying vehicles uh, through borrowing money with the bank. And so you wanna definitely work on your bank selection and make sure you pick a good local community bank or even a national bank as long as it's a traditional bank that's gonna give you simple interest terms with a competitive interest rate. In summer 2024, competitive interest rates are anywhere from six on a really good day, that's an unbelievable rate, all the way up to 10%. 10% interest in 2024 is still, for commercial loans, is a good interest rate. If you can get lower, get lower. Um, and so going back five years, we were able to get as low as 3%. I look forward to those days returning. Now let's talk about buying new versus buying used when you're, when you're looking to fund your fleet. A lot of times buying new can be far less expensive for you and it can also be more efficient with your bank. Banks usually like to loan on newer vehicles. You can get more competitive interest rates when you're buying new vehicles versus buying used. Uh, the other positive is, is usually you can find a relationship with a car dealer uh, a Toyota dealer, a Ford dealer, a Nissan dealer, who's going to give you a pretty good competitive price, uh, you know, maybe $1,000 off MSRP or $2,000 off MSRP. You don't wanna beat the car dealer up too much because you want them to be excited when you come back to buy more vehicles. And so make sure you're leaving a little bit on the table for them. If you're getting too good of a deal, if you're stealing the car from them, so to speak, and getting such a good deal, they're not gonna to wanna to do business with you in the future. Historically, we got anywhere from one to $3,000 off MSRP. More recent years, we've been paying MSRP because that's just what the market dictates. Uh, but you want to consider, don't automatically assume a used vehicle is going to be less expensive. In many cases, you can get a new vehicle for $5,000 more than you'll get a used vehicle, but you've got zero miles versus 25,000 miles on that used vehicle, and that used vehicle might be an extra percentage rate on bank financing, whereas a new vehicle is gonna save you a percentage rate on interest. So a lot of times a new vehicle uh, is going to actually serve you better. Another benefit to a new vehicle is usually you can extend the terms out. You know these vehicles are gonna last you between five and seven years. Even in this industry, a seven-year-old poop truck still only probably has 150,000 miles on it or so. It's still got a little bit of life left in it. And so you can literally fund this through financing for seven years as opposed to paying all that capital up front, use that capital put back in your business. Uh, I am somebody who absolutely believes that in 2024, you can and should consider using debt to grow your business as long as you believe in yourself, you, you know what you're doing, and you're not going to go broke doing that. Use, use borrowed money to build your business. You have to be responsible in doing it. It's a totally different game than not going into debt to buy consumer goods. When you're going into debt to buy an asset that's gonna produce you money, for instance, a single poop truck is gonna produce between 100 and $150,000 a year in added revenue to your business, and it might cost you $7,000 a year in payments to do that, do the math on your profitability and you're gonna probably find that it's well worth paying the bank $7,000 a year in payments for this. So one other option for funding your fleet. It's not an option I would usually recommend. It can work, but it's not something I'd recommend. Is that is you can lease your vehicles. And so there are leasing programs, fleet leasing programs for as little as one or two or three vehicles, or as many, I mean, big businesses oftentimes lease their fleet and literally turn them in after three years, they just turn the vehicle in. And there is an element of convenience to this. There's also an element of actually getting this funded. This is another way that if you can't get bank financing, sometimes you can go through these leasing alternatives. Here's the problem with leasing. You don't own anything. You are literally renting the vehicle. You're not building equity in it. Uh, you can build equity. You go and you finance a vehicle for five years or seven years, you're gradually building equity in that vehicle so that even at seven years old with 150,000 miles or 200,000 miles, maybe you have a four or five or $7,000 asset in that vehicle. When you're leasing, you've paid all that money and you're literally renting it, you just give it back. Now, that being said, it might be beneficial to you. Here's an example of where it could be beneficial. We actually offer to our franchisees a leasing program. And so some of our franchisees take advantage of this. It's a totally optional thing. 
that some of our franchisees see value in as they're establishing their business. Maybe they, they, they're buying a business from us that's an enhanced territory that's got five trucks already in that market handling 450, 550, 600 jobs every week and they've got everything funded but now they've got to figure out how are they going to go and get funding to borrow money on five vehicles and they're a brand new business. They're usually just getting started and about to buy this territory. Well that can be challenging and so as a franchisor one of the benefits we provide our franchisees as an option is we have a leasing license under one of our entities and we have the ability to get funding for vehicles because we've been doing this for a while and so we actually will get the vehicles it's very turnkey we'll turn around we'll get them wrapped and we will lease them to a franchisee uh, so that they can be in business on day one and it's convenient it, in, the, in the negative, as I mentioned, we're building an asset, we're building equity, they're just ha having to lease that vehicle. And so it's not always the best option, but sometimes that is the one thing that's keeping you from growing. And if it's the one thing that's keeping you from growing, it's probably worth just going ahead and doing it. So leasing vehicles can be an option. It's not usually the most ideal option because you can build some significant assets in your fleet. And so funding your fleet is one of the most challenging parts of your business as you grow. Yeah, finding people and funding your fleet and of course insuring your fleet becomes a, the next piece of that. But funding your fleet becomes a big challenge because whether you're growing by 100 jobs a, a year or whether you're growing by 500 jobs a year, you need a new truck for every 100 jobs or so and that gets expensive. Uh, hope this helps. Be sure you like, comment below. How are you funding your fleet? Are you doing it all by bootstrapping in cash or are you working on your credit and working on relationships with banks so that you can scale your business using bank money? How are you doing it? Comment below. Make it a great day.